Today I'm going to a professional color analysis to find out which colors complement my skin tone and make me look better and which colors make me look, well, ugly. And I want to know what looks best on me. Not that I don't already know, but still I want to look my best. <laughs> so The first step is I have to take my makeup off because I need the most accurate color analysis I can get. What personal color analysis is, is trying to find a color palette that best suits your natural complexion. When you're looking at the first picture, would you say she would stand out in a group? No. Right, but on the other hand, right, when we're looking at the red, the more vivid color and hair, clothes, and everything, would you say that way she pops out a little bit better? Oh, definitely. We're just talking about colors that brings out your feature better. Look at all these colors, man. Oh my god, I'm gonna look so ugly. <laughs> no makeup on, the hair's going back. How do you feel about taking off your necklace? Dude? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll get naked after that. I look like an egg. Girl, you look great. You're either gonna be more on the warmer side or more on the cooler side. And we wanna take a look at your middle third, your under eye lips. Trying to figure out which one of your under eye is a little bit less like dark, a little bit more lifted. And when you're talking about just the under eye alone, I will say that this one tends to bring out your under eye a little bit more. Because when we come here, you see how your under eye is a lot more lighter. You got myself in a way I've never seen myself before, <laughs> kind of scared. So when you're looking at your apples of your face, this makes it really dull. It's yeah. almost like it sags a little bit, especially if you're looking at your chin area. You see how this is much more lifted? So this is not a very good color on you. This is not a very good color on no, me. No, not at all. Do you see how this immediately washed you out? Dead. <laughs> She's deceased. Now we're looking at these deep, dark colors. You see how there's almost dots all over your face? The acne. The acne <laughs> that doesn't exist over here. So far, this color actually suits you really, really well. So I should dye my hair this color. <laughs> so when we're looking at this set, ooh, Yeah, no, no, no. This one's not cute on you, right? This is not cute. You see how over here you have no structure? on your face but here actually you tend to even out your overall skin tone a little wow. bit better i kind of feel ugly but in, in some ways i kind of feel like better than i've ever had but kind of ugly still so it's okay <laughs> I'm learning. Not giving. Horrific. <laughs> you don't suit these muted colors. This is a summer bridging into autumn. This is a true summer. And then this is a light summer. From here to here, do you see how this is actually a form of washing out? Mm -hmm. This is not so pretty on you. True summer is the best out of the summer set compared to like, for example, this set over here. Oh God. Do we see what I mean? <laughs> do you ever wear these colors? Probably the most. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, God, that's <laughs> worse. It's just as important as knowing your best color and also your wrong colors, right? These colors, let's just try to avoid them. This one we like, right? It didn't lose all the feature like the other True. season. True, exactly. I do like this one. A really nice set of colors for you. I kind of like the color of my hair. Oh, let's take a look at a possible bridge for you. You see how from here to here, it's kind of like what look you want to go for, but both suits you pretty decently. But you see how your skin tone is very even here? Mm -hmm. But your skin tone is also very even here. Yeah. Because these are bridging season. Bright winter bridging into bright spring. But the second I pull this bright spring off of you, going into any other spring, you're not going to like them very much. Mm. Right? And then when we come here, you look a little sick. <laughs> <laughs> Just came out of the hospital. I'm feeling good. Okay, I like that. I'm very positive about this. <laughs> I might be able to keep the hair color. Do you like blues? Oh, I love blue. Okay, <laughs> what kind of blues do you like? Ooh. Not that one. <laughs> Ooh, this one I don't know too much about. Then when we come here, you see how it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Any bright, vivid color is going to see you pretty well. It does look like you are a bright winter. That's the rare season. A bright winter? A bright winter. I am the rarest season. Yes, you're literally the rarest season. <laughs> Period. So when you're looking at this, there's black, right? You got a good selection of this, but I think this is actually the section we're gonna have to cross out for you. I believe so too. Because we don't love the pastel on you, but we love these vivid tones of color on you. Yeah. We're gonna first just... Oh yeah, goodbye. R.I.P. to the pastels. I wasn't a pastel girly anyways. Doing character out of here. She didn't look good on me. How do you like brown? I'm not really into browns. That's great, because brown's not in your palette. That's great. <laughs> Let's go back to your best kind of brown. The bright one, even though it's the darkest one. <laughs> it's the bright dark one. But people will never think of this as a bright color, but you're right, it's a bright color. It's a right. 
bright black. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like a dark white. Do you like red? I do. You see how these colors that usually makes people look a lot older actually suits you really well. This one, not so much, right? Yeah. Because this is closer to, again, that purplish color. But when we come here, this is a little bit more warmer than that one. I would wear this. Because this one's a lot brighter. When we're taking a look at these color, ooh, this one's not so pretty because it's a rust red, which has a lot of meatiness into it. Any of these like purplish color suits you pretty decently. Now, when we're looking at these purple, you see how this is the brighter purple mm -hmm. and this brighter purple suits you a lot better than this really dark purple. Immediately, your whole face brighten up and that's a really good look on you. Probably with this one too. I wear this color a lot. I always say people know themselves to a certain degree. That bright purple oh, yeah. was so pretty on us. This one over here, gorgeous on us, right? Mm -hmm. And it also, these fuchsia colors, also pretty good. But this one we're gonna cross out because it just doesn't make it onto our list. Purple is a really good set for us. And funny enough, look at how much purple color we have. We're getting into more good. Let's take a look. How do you feel about gray? I don't really like it. I don't really like it on you either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did the accent come from? I loved it. Do you like the gray? Honestly, I like the gray. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> when we're talking about um, wedding dresses, do you feel like you sue more of a white or more of a beige wedding dress? I've never once thought about getting married, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, <laughs> if we were to, which color would you think suits you a little bit better? Mm, no one get excited out there. Girl, white. Mm -hmm. This well. one complements you really well. It's still considered a white more over than like ivory or a beige, but it just needs a hint of like another cream color. But once you get here, it's not that pretty on you. Mm -mm. Do you feel like there's something like overly big about your feature? I think everything's pretty even. Mm -hmm. I, I think so too. This is why we sue more of a medium-sized pattern the best. What happens if you have a big nose? It depends. Some people with a big nose, if you wear overly big pattern, it actually makes their nose stand out even more. If you have a big nose, don't wear big patterns. It will accentuate your big nose. <laughs> Color, style, right? Everything kind of lines up with each other. But you see how over here, this is a small pattern? I Color. wear this. You will wear this? <laughs> you sell it. <coughs> I feel like I'm wearing so much. Me too, like we're in school right now. Yeah. Who knew? Are we gonna have to take a test after this? <laughs> I'm gonna write this on the back of my hand. Take a look at how browns look on you. I could not picture you with brown hair. <laughs> I can't either. Yeah, I can't either. You see how warm tone hair actually doesn't suit you too well, right? Then when we come to even slightly lighter of a warm tone hair color. Oh, girl. Oh, it doesn't match your skin. It's still a little bit harsh on your face. Because when we're looking at your eyes, your eyes is actually a little bit more on the softer end. And then your nose does come to a point. Your face is actually very soft. <laughs> I guess you are beautiful. <laughs> I guess I am beautiful. <laughs> Colors like this might see you a little bit better, a little bit more on the icier side. Gray, I don't know if you ever tried it. Again, I'm not talking about dyeing your whole head of it. Well, if you want, you could. I think that looks awesome for some reason. I think gray is a lot prettier of a color on your hair than what you currently have. And fun color that I wouldn't recommend for you are like red, mm -hmm. orange, yellow. She's like, what you have. <laughs> These three colors suited you really well. The red, I love it on you. The only problem is it brings out a lot of redness. Form of green color corrector will help with that. These are my hot colors. These are my main colors. These three colors right here look the best on me. So if you see me out and about. Who would have known out of all of the colors in the world, like those would be it. Also your palette, brilliant, dramatic, stylish, and cool. Talk about lip color that you would naturally gravitate towards. Have you always just liked the more brownish colors? Probably like something like that. No, just cause I thought like I wanted something that was like my lip color, but a little bit better. When you're wearing absolutely zero makeup, what you could do is use a green primer. Mm. Have you ever tried a green primer before? No, I've never. You see how it's turning more into like a skin color? Yeah. But then your redness is gone with it. Oh mm, yeah. Cause green is on the opposite side of red in a color wheel. Okay, look at the left and Whoa. right. Whoa, you can see it. It's crazy. <gasps> well, yeah, I did remove a lot of that pink. Oh my goodness. Cute. What kind of blush color do you usually wear? I wear like a coral coral or like a baby pink 
Okay, yeah, I, this is kind of like what I wear. Oh, yeah, perfect. Like a little baby pink like this. Right now, so far, your colors are probably over here. Let's go for slightly more cool tone lipstick, but I don't want you to like think cool tone lipstick as in dark colors. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun today. Crazy that I already wear a lot of those colors. I will leave all the information in the description of where I went today. If you enjoy vlogs like these, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. What are you doing? You can follow me on any of my social medias at Mackenzie Marie. Also, my spicy content is linked down below as well. So check it out. Toodles.